Here's a quick video to answer a guy's question about how brightly a 5U4 should light up. Uh, he asked the question in reference to a few Tweet Twin videos I had posted. I don't have that amp down here uh, in my little workshop right now, but I've got this old Ampeg M15 sitting here. Uh, and it also uses a 5U4 and a pair of 6L6s. And this 5U4 is an old RCA, which has a clear top. And if you can see from this angle, looking at the 5U4, you'll see what looks like two little red eyeballs peering out of the tip of the tube. Those are the top ends of the two cathodes, uh, each going through one of the plates. So you got plate one, plate two. So if we take a quick look at the schematic, just so I can make this tie together a bit better, Here's that 5U4, all right, pin eight comes up over here. It comes to this 30 microfarad capacitor in the can. The first one it hits, that's node A. A is over here. It's on the center tap of the primary side of the output transformer. And that feeds pin three on each of the two 6L6s, the plate. So it's up here. And then it is down here. So I point this out because putting aside how brightly that tube brights, uh, lights up or not, it's probably secondary to how stable is this voltage. Uh, and it's pretty much rock steady at 380. All right. Um, and so to me, that's the real measure of is my rectifier working? Um, I'll turn the light out in a minute just so you can get a better perspective on this brightness. But again, this, this tube, this uh, 5U4, other than the tips of the cathodes, uh, and maybe, well, can't see in this light, but the, the very top ends coming out of the, uh, out of the base, um, that's all it's gonna light up. The plate itself should be dark. And if those plates are lighting up, you probably have a problem. Um, so with that, let me hit the lights and not electrocute myself in the process. All right, I tried to mask the, uh, uh, with a little sticky note, mask the pilot light just a bit, but hopefully you get the idea. Uh, so I'm looking straight on, and again, all these tubes look pretty darn dark. Uh, each of the two 6L6s and that 5U4. I'll try to get closer to that 5U4 and see if this will be of any value in terms of a, a view. Um, not sure this is gonna help, but we'll try. So, not sure how much you're able to see, but these tubes are pretty darn dark. So, again, I don't think how bright really makes a huge difference. I have seen, while I'm at it here, again, coming back to the tip of that 5U4, I have had cases where one of those two cathodes burns out. And so at that point, you've only got one of the two rectifiers working and you're pretty much screwed. So apart from that though, that's the only failure I've really ever had uh, other than just weakness on a 5U4, at least in my limited experience. So, uh, so again, brightness, not so important. Uh, I think that voltage really is what matters the most, a stable voltage, uh, and uh, get the light back on. And uh, I guess one last thing to note though, the tube will definitely get hot. That 5U4 is too hot to handle right now. Um, so if you've got a stone cold 5U4, you've probably got a problem. That's it, hope this helps.